Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to go from this sideboard right here to this. As you can see, as you can see the details it has, the handle, this. I want to show you guys that you can always change what Archicad gives you. And this is like the power of Archicad 25. These people, they don't just improve on on the article version by numbers they improve by what you can do with some of the objects like this we can always go from this to this i'm going to show you what i used this for this is the this is the outcome after rendering it see how beautiful it is i'm going to show you some of the things you need to know and how you can always get better model when do when working with Archicad. So all you need to do is select. I'm going to show you everything. Select and we can always go to the settings. Okay. Now from the picture we have, you would notice that the the leg style is not this and it is this. So you can always change it. Okay. And that's it right there. Um it gives all the option of thicker legs. You tick it and you see the effect right there. If you don't like it, just uncheck it. Okay. You can always change the color to something gold. So you can see, you're seeing the difference and you will just switch it back to black and gold. So you can see. So we go to the nest and see what we can do with the nest. Okay, as you can see the door, the door, we want uniform panel. So what we do, you see that one of the doors, they are, they are side hung mirror. So what we do is we try to change the, the side hung to double door. As you can see, it has changed to double door. Okay, same thing, double door, it has changed to double door. So we move to the next and see what we can do there also. There's nothing to, to be done here. We move to the next. And then we are coming back to this because this is not what we want. As you can see, this is not what we want. Right? We are coming back to that. Okay. And you can see that um, right here, I will show you the difference between right here. If you select this, you notice that the, the, the division, the legs has reduced to two. Okay. Just one, two. Okay. So you can always create this one, two, three. The same thing like so one, two, three. Okay. So we want to use this here. This is the cabinet color. We'll change it to black now that's fine so let's go back to here we change it to insert because as you can see from as you can see we are getting there from from this you see that it has the doors are inside, all right? The doors are inside. Unlike this, the doors are outside, which is overlay, okay? So we just go back to the settings and change it to insert, and it just pops in. Give the, the, the sideboard some good shape, okay? So we say, okay. And what is left is just the... The handle the handle is quite different so we have to create a different handle for it so we are going to replicate something like this okay so what we'll do is click create an elevation line view view the face of the sideboard from elevation go to document click fill so i'm just going to draw something on this right here
what you do is you just copy this and place it on the plan so after pasting it right here all we need to do is since we know the measurement of this right we know the measurement this is 17 so we we'll just go to complex profile let's option complex profile profile manager create new let's call this handle three you say okay all right so what so we use a few to and draw the profile of that handle which is going to be like this We are going to assign material to it, make it gold. Okay, make it gold and then we'll save. So let's use wall. So what we do is we use a slab and create something to cover it. Do the same thing in the middle, like so. So we are going to check it out, how the measurement, if they are okay. Pick everything and go back to our model. Change this, change the color to gold. Okay. Now that's fine. So, what we we'll do is we pick this, pick this, pick everything. Okay. Go it we can after grouping it just make sure you select everything only so you go to file go to library and object save as no okay then we'll say no two now it has been saved so what we do is Go back to this. Select this. This is custom. Custom norm. Pick the one we just created. As you can see, okay. Let me show you what's what's happening right here. As you can see, look at what's happening right here. It's facing. The opposite side. We we'll go back to this and mirror it. As you can see, it will, it would, it would rotate. So, working on the height is is not a problem. But what we want to correct now is this. We'll just make a copy of this out here okay and then what i'll do is convert this to morph right and combine it union it using the boolean operation okay as you can see it's now one an entity make sure it is gold and then we save again. As you can see, it has been corrected. So just just use the same figure we use that is that is going to appear right here for this one. Now that's it. This is the
as you can see the figures right there there's a difference so let's copy copy this go to the segment 2 okay paste it 50 as you can see the handles are closed right now and then the vertical position the norm depth depth is 100 so let's see let's use 15 it has gone back now I'm looking proper let's use 20 so we'll go to the segment 2 and use 20 also now this is just fine so we can always work on the height to look like it's quite not let's say one to norm length one norm height rather 120 so you can see go to the segment two 120 now that's fine So this is how to create something from nothing in Archicad 25. Took a while, but it's worth it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.